Each year, dozens of expeditioners head south to keep Australia's Antarctic stations operating. And while the experience is often highly satisfying, the long and brutal winters can take a toll on body and mind. The continuous cold weather and then on top of the, uh, the darkness, that, yeah, I guess it's a... Uh, it provides a sense of like isolation, just that feeling. Expeditioners say they experience a sense of fogginess where it's difficult to find words or maintain attention. There's often this feeling that there's not enough coffee in the world that would make me alert right now. The Australian Antarctic Division is now using biosensors and monthly computer tests to measure the cognitive and physiological changes. We do get to see our results. Sometimes they get a bit alarming throughout... The, the depths of winter, but yeah, luckily I'm on the other side and my results are improving. The challenges faced by Antarctic expeditioners are not dissimilar to those endured by astronauts. So small teams in isolation, dependent on technology for survival, chronic low-grade stress in that environment, uh, changes in circadian rhythm, changes in sleep and mood. It means the results of the study will have applications far beyond the icy continent. The Outcomes of this research will not only support our expeditioners within the uh, the polar medicine unit and the, and the Australian Antarctic Division, but they'll also support human spaceflight as we take that next leap forward uh, and head deeper into space. This uh, space study has added a wonderful purpose to the winter here for our Antarctic expeditioners. The research project will continue for another year. Jono Gibson, ABC News.